money in a pinchback suit and listening to some big out of town Jasper hearing him talk about horse race gambling. Not a regular truck race, no, but a race where they set down or right on the horse. I'd like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch make your blood boil. Well, I should say. No, friends, let me tell you what I mean. They got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in a table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B and that arrives with B and that stands for poop. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittered away. Your young men will be frittering. Frittering away their noontime, supper time, chore time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions pulled through the screen, nor patch of the beefsteak bounded. Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with the sister. Empty on a Saturday night, that's trouble. Oh yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbocker shirt tail young ones. You get in the pool hall window after school, you got trouble. Folks, it's right here. I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. Oh, I'm going to be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They'll be trying out Bebo, trying out Cuban, trying out Taylor Maids like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're going to cover up the telltale breath with sex in one fine night. They'll leave the pool hall, headed for the dance at the armory. Liberty men, scarlet women in ragtime, shameless music that'll drag your son, your daughter with the arms of a Animal instinct, mass stereo. Friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground trouble. It's right here in River City. With a capital T that rhymes with P that stands for pool. Oh, you got trouble. Right here in River City. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Oh, mothers of River City, heed the warning before it's too late. Watch out for the telltale signs of corruption before your son leaves the house. Does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Are there nicotine stains on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Is he memorizing jokes out of Captain Billy's whiz bang? Are certain words creeping into his vocabulary? Words like swell. Trouble. Oh, it's so your old man. Trouble. Oh, if so, my friends, you got trouble. Oh, yes.